I told Nick to meet me over an hour ago. Anyway, tonight I'm at the Siren Nightclub where they're launching Southside Records. The Alpha Heart Posse have just come off stage. It's a label that's aiming to put out a lot of South Auckland rap and black music. And good luck to them. Well, I'm still down K Road and look who's turned up. Nick D'Angelo, how are you? I'm fine. A little annoyed. Where's Mark Turney? I told him to meet us here 45 minutes ago. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't I seen him. I was going to show you guys the town, show you where it all happens in Auckland. Oh, he's always late. The man has got a punctuality problem. Right, I've got to grab something to eat, go to a few pubs, see a few bands, hit the clubs. Who's coming? Ah, we are the Watch TV. Really? Hmm. Well, I'm going to grab the BMW and I'll see you later. The first step to a night out in Auckland is Queen Street, the Golden Mile. We can find entertainment in the spoken word. For God so loved the world. Or to get your musical night off to a good start, there's plenty of great buskers wedged in doorways, guitar cases open. Good morning, Joe. Now that I've sampled the brasserie lifestyle, I could catch a movie at Auckland's first independent cinema, The Academy, or North Shore's Bridgeway, or at the high-profile Charlie Gray's out in Balmoral. Oh, or you could go to Cats if you're one of the five New Zealanders who didn't bother to go and see it in Sydney. But I'm off to the Globe to catch a bunch of young guys who play the hardest bop in town. sharp image. Um, we try to have uh, our music's got to be sharp too and um, because of that it's we're still finding it hard but we're slowly getting the audience um, and with uh, we're doing a few gigs at Club Roma now too which is really good. <laughs> we're into sort of the 60s Miles Davis scene um, and we like to take like arrangements and tunes and real change them around to give them something special you know. Time to roughen the diet slightly at the venue in the station hotel at the bottom of town. There seems to be um, a good groundswell of, of, of good live music. I saw uh, Wellington's bump and ugly at the venue with cactus and and there was a real feeling of uh, this is live music, this is music, and it's, uh, this is the sort of music that's best uh, live. It's not sort of recording acts coming, trotting out their stuff quite drably on a stage. It's actually bands that have, have got it together live. Meanwhile, they may change its spots, but it's still the gluey. With R&B downstairs and tonight upstairs, a double bill being broadcast live to air by Campus Radio BFM. They've been great. Uh, Campus Radio, the sound's been good on air. Uh, the bands benefit greatly out of it, and uh, the Glue Pops have got good crowds every time. The Able Persons, well, we've been uh, rehearsing playing live a few times this year, not enormously, but um, hopefully putting out an album which we will record in, um, in the next couple of weeks. 
start in about two weeks' time. Before our basis ventures over to Mexico. Mm. We do things in our own sweet pace. Yeah. If you're into something that requires long hair, there's wildlife or the power station in Auckland. It started out life as a Dirty Dicks restaurant. For a while it was the biggest nightclub in Auckland and now it's a rock venue. Tonight they're having a heavy metal night. Uh, well, maybe not. All these bands from the North Shore that are playing the power station, I think they'll... I think, you know, in the next few months uh, they'll bring together really quite big crowds into the power station. As soon as some get records out and that. Well, that wasn't so bad. Now, I know that there are other live venues in Auckland, such as Institute Park out in Pakaranga and the recently opened Coliseum in South Auckland, but hey, that's a hell of a drive, and me, I need a drink. Both the Siren and Club Roma are the end result of an inner city club culture that blossomed in the 80s and could possibly be part of the reason the Auckland live scene went through such a drought in the middle of the decade. However, if you're searching for the hipper sounds in the little Sydney that is inner city Auckland, at two in the morning, you've got to be in one of them. All the time, just like the endless beat, the beat that flows in time. This is where every self-respecting Auckland nightclubber ends up, at the White Lady in Shortland Street. It's been here so long, I think my grandmother used to buy the bacon burgers here. Hey, what, what kind of night have you had? Busy, real busy. Yeah? Yeah. yeah, I know how that feels.